Whether you're considering a move or are simply just curious, we've got everything you need to know about life in Roswell. From its history to schools, low crime rates, and a ton of activities, we'll take you on a deep dive into what makes Roswell such a great place to live and maybe some reasons you would want to avoid it. Stick around as we explore the neighborhoods, the real estate, the market, and more. Let's get into it. Where is Roswell? Roswell is located just 30 minutes directly north of Atlanta, making it an ideal location for people who want the best of both worlds. Access to everything the big city of Atlanta has and the peaceful atmosphere of a suburban community. Roswell has a population of around 90,000 people, making it the ninth largest metro in the state. It doesn't have that large of a footprint, which means all those people are pretty close together. But what really sets Roswell apart is its central location. Yes, you are close to Atlanta, but you are also surrounded by popular cities with excellent amenities to explore like Woodstock, Alpharetta, Milton, Sandy Springs. Not only that, a lot of the major roads in the metro converge in Roswell, like the 120 Loop, Highway 92, 140, and Georgia 400. This makes it incredibly easy to get around, and since we're so car dependent around here, that can be a huge help, whether you're commuting to work, taking a trip to the North Georgia mountains, or you need to get to the airport, which is only 45 minutes away. Now for a brief history. Roswell roots stretch back to the early 19th century. Before Roswell was founded, the land was originally inhabited by the Cherokee Indians. However, everything changed in the 1820s and 30s with the Georgia Gold Rush. Yeah, there was gold here. This drew in new settlers and entrepreneurs from all over. One of those settlers was Roswell King, a businessman who saw the potential of the land along with the Chattahoochee River. In 1839, King founded the city of Roswell, building it around a cotton mill powered by the river. I don't know if I would have it in me to name a city after myself, first or last name. Like a lot of the other southern towns at the time, the mill was the hub of the community, employing most of the residents and driving most of the city's economy. Roswell's location along with the Chattahoochee also made it a strategic target during the Civil War. In 1864, Union troops occupied the town during General Sherman's infamous March to the Sea. Although the mill was destroyed during the occupation, much of Roswell's historic architecture was left intact. A lot of the city's historic homes are still standing, like Barrington Hall and Bullock Hall. Barrington Hall was the home of Roswell King himself, named after his son, Barrington King. Again, with the naming. Bullock Hall, another iconic site, is where Mitty Bullock married Teddy Roosevelt Sr., who were the parents of Teddy Roosevelt Jr., the 26th president. The town's historic charm, combined with its deep Civil War roots, make Roswell a very cool place to live for history buffs. What's so great about Roswell? Historic feel and proximity to nature. The Chattahoochee River runs right through Roswell, offering residents incredible access to the outdoors. Kayaking, canoeing, fishing is always right around the corner. A perk that not a lot of the other Atlanta suburbs have, especially one so close to the big city. Roswell is also home to numerous parks and green spaces, making it a great spot for anyone who just loves to be outside. The Chattahoochee Nature Center is a local favorite. It's about 127 acres of trails, there's wildlife exhibits and educational programs, making it a great spot to bring your family and spend the day on a weekend. Beyond nature, Roswell has a very unique and historic feel that many of the newer suburban communities just don't offer. The city's homes, a lot of them were built in the 70s. They got larger lots, surrounded by mature trees, giving it a very established charm. The neighborhoods have this old world appeal that blends uh, pretty seamlessly with a lot of the modern amenities. There are very few cookie cutter neighborhoods here. As you drive through, every house is gonna have its own unique vibe to it. Things to do in Roswell. Roswell has a lot of options for everyone, whether you're an outdoors person, a foodie, or someone who loves to shop and explore. One of the main attractions is the Chattahoochee Nature Center, which we talked about before. You can hike, explore wildlife, and even attend special events like the Butterfly Festival. 
If you want to get outside in a less structured way, Roswell's got great parks. Old Mill Park, Vickery Creek Park are fantastic. They got great hiking, waterfalls, and the historic ruins of Roswell's Old Mill. Riverside Park, located along the Chattahoochee River, is another great spot for a family day out with playgrounds, picnic areas, and access to the river for kayaking and paddle boarding. If you want to stay inside, Roswell has an excellent list of restaurants. Canton Street in downtown Roswell is the local hub with a very eclectic mix of restaurants. It's also very active with live music, street festivals, and farmer's markets on a weekly basis. You'll find everything from uh, casual cafes, fine dining, southern comfort food, international cuisine, farm to table options, you name it. There's Table in Maine, Fickle Pickle, uh, 1920 Tavern, Rock and Taco, and tons of others. You could go to a different spot every weekend and it would take you a while to get through it. Schools in Roswell. Roswell has pretty good public schools. It's in Fulton County, which is one of the top counties in the state with lots of schools ranking in the top 10 in Georgia. It's gonna be a mixed bag as far as your choices if you live in the area. The most likely school you'll be zoned for is Roswell High School, earning an A rating on niche.com and a seven out of 10 on greatschools.org. Like a lot of the high schools in the area, it's known for academic programs, sports, extracurricular activities like band and chorus. There's also Centennial High School getting the same scores of an A and a seven out of 10. Now, those are decent scores. However, they're overshadowed by the other options you might be zoned for, like Milton High School located in nearby Alpharetta. That has an A plus rating on niche.com and an eight out of 10 rating on greatschools.org. Or even there's a little bit of Roswell that's in Cobb County. So you have a slim chance of being zoned for Pope High School, which gets a perfect 10 out of 10 on grade schools. Or Lasseter High School, which gets a nine out of 10. So if school rating is important to you, make sure you check to see which county and specific schools your child will end up going to. Crime data. Roswell has a reputation of being one of the safer cities in the Atlanta metro area. According to bestplaces.net, who after looking at crime data, gives a rating of one to 100, one being low crime, 100 being high crime, Roswell's violent crime rate is 10.9, which is significantly lower than the national average average of 22.7. This means you can feel pretty secure in your day to day knowing that violent crime is not a major concern here. Property crime is a bit higher at 28.9, but they're still lower than the national average of 35.4. That being said, this is me citing third party data. Do not come to me if you move to Roswell and you happen to get robbed. But your honor, the realtor on YouTube said it was safe. Additionally, to quote neighborhoodscout.com, Compared to other communities of similar population size, Roswell has a crime rate that is noticeably lower than the average. This means that for comparably sized cities all across America, Roswell is actually safer than most according to Neighborhood Scout's exclusive analysis of FBI crime data. Thanks, Neighborhood Scout. Roswell Real Estate. So you're gonna find a wide range of housing options from historic homes to modern new builds. The median home price in Roswell is around 620,000 as of this filming, which is higher than the national median, higher than the Georgia median, but is right in the middle as far as Metro Atlanta is concerned. Milton to the north has a median of 1.3 million. Woodstock to the west is 450,000. Considering the city's popularity and prime location, I think it's actually a decent value. Many of the homes here are situated on larger lots and are surrounded by mature trees, giving the neighborhood a very spacious and established feel. Whether you're looking for a historic home with some character or a newer property with all the latest finishes, Roswell's real estate market is gonna have something for everyone. It's also important to note that Roswell falls under Fulton County, which has a property tax rate of about 1.15%. So if you buy a home for $500,000, expect taxes to be around $5,700 a year. Now that's fairly standard for the area, but one thing to keep in mind is that Fulton County does not offer a senior exemption, which could impact retirees looking to settle here. Neighboring counties like Cherokee and Forsyth offer an exception for residents over 62, which could bring your property taxes to as low as 1,500 a year, which is a huge benefit. Keep that in mind if you're working out your monthly budget. 
By the way, if you're trying to find the best place that fits your needs, my name is Joel. I'm a local realtor here. If you're looking to buy or sell your home anywhere in the Metro Atlanta area, I would love to help you out. My information is below in the description. You'll also see it here at the bottom of the screen. I'm always happy just to answer questions or have a conversation. Feel free to contact me in any way that is most beneficial for you. So what do you think? Is Roswell gonna be your next home? Drop it in the comments. Are you living in Roswell? Or are you looking for something else? Hey, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy just to have a conversation. I'll see you in the next one.